Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical compute the 4 point DFT of the sequence given by x of n which is equal to 1 by 3 wherein n varying from 0 to 2 and it is 0 elsewhere. So how do I solve this? First let me write the solution and let me also write the given sequence x of n. What is it? It is 1 divided by 3 comma 1 divided by 3 comma again 1 divided by 3. So these are the three samples varying from 0, 1, 2 and what is the fourth sample? Fourth sample is going to be 0. For this sequence x of n I need to find its DFT. Before finding DFT I must know the twiddle factors. So let me write that twiddle factors. So what are the twiddle factors are here for 4 point DFT W4 to the power 0 is equal to 1 and I have W4 to the power 1 which is equal to here this is equal to minus J this is equal to minus J similarly I have W4 to the power 2 the value of this is nothing but minus 1 and W4 to the power 3 which is equal to plus j. So if I know these values, uh, these total factors, I can find the DFT of this sequence quite easily. So now I can find uh, the expression x of k, which is the DFT of this sequence is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n wn to the power k into n where both k and small n vary from 0 to n minus 1. So what is this? So now let me put capital N is equal to 4 in this numerical. n is equal to 0 to 4 minus 1 which is 3. x of n and wn to the power k into n. So what is the next thing? Next thing is I just have to expand this summation by varying a small n from 0 to 3. Let's see what I'm going to get. If I put n equal to 0, I'm going to get x of 0 wn to the power k into 0, which is 0, plus I'm going to get, let me put uh, n is equal to 1, x of uh, 1 wn to the power k into 1, which is k, correct? Plus, now let me put uh, n is equal to 2, I'm going to get x of 2 wn to the power k into 2, I'm going to get 2k, correct? Plus, x of 3, now let me put n is equal to 3, I'm going to get x of 3, wn to the power k into n, n is 3, I'm going to get 3k. Is that fine? So now let me uh, place the values. x of 0, what is x of 0? x of 0 is 1 divided by 3, wn to the power 0 is 1, plus, what is x of 1? x of 1 is also 1 divided by 3, and wn to the power k and wn this capital n is 4 to the power k correct plus x of 2 x of 2 is also 1 divided by 3 w4 to the power 2k is that okay plus x of 3 is 0 so uh, let me stop at this point of time so this is the expression so I'm going to call this as the expression for x of k so once I get this expression, the next thing is quite easier. I have to vary in this expression k. So what I do is first for, let me write for k equal to 0. So what happens if I put k equal to 0? I'm going to get capital X of 0. This is the first DFT coefficient. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 0 which is 1 plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 2 into 0 which is again 1 so 1 by 3 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 I'm going to get 3 by 3 which turns out to be 1 therefore x of 0 is going to be 1 so this is my first DFT coefficient so it's similarly 
so now what i have to do is let me vary now let me put for k is equal to 1 if i put k equal to 1 in the above expression that is equation number 1 so let me call this as equation number 1 in this equation if i put k equal to 1 i am going to get x of 1 is equal to 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 w4 to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 3 w4 to the power 2 into k k is 1 2 into 1 I am going to get it as w4 to the power 2 so now let me place the values 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 1 what is w4 to the power 1 if I go up and check it is supposed to be minus j yes so now I would get this as 1 by 3 j then plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 2 w4 to the power 2 is nothing but minus 1 so hence it becomes minus 1 by 3 so plus 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 would cancel and I am finally going to get the second DFT coefficient x of 1 is equal to minus 1 divided by 3 j so just let me put this in a box yes this is the second DFT coefficient similarly moving further so let me now put k equal to 2 for k equal to 2 what is going to happen let me check that x of 2 is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 what is there next let me go up and check uh, w4 to the power k so I am going to get w4 to the power 2 plus 1 by 3 I have w4 to the power uh, 2k so 2 into 2 it becomes 4 is that okay so now I have to place the values so what are the values 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 2 which is minus 1 I'm going to get minus 1 by 3 and plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 4 what is w4 to the power 4 if I go up and check I have values only till w4 to the power 3 so what should I do now making use of the periodicity property of DFT 0 1 2 3 so next one 4 5 6 7 so these are all periodic in that way I can continue further so I want to get the twiddle factor w4 to the power 4 which is nothing but w4 to the power 0 which has the value of 1 by 3 is that fine so if I put a 1 by 3 here so now plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 would cancel and I'm going to get x of 2 as 1 divided by 3 so this is my uh, third DFT coefficient so let me put this in a box again similarly moving further so now let me put for k is equal to 3 what is going to happen let me check that k is equal to 3 if I put that I'm going to get x of 3 is equal to 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 3 w4 to the power what I have I have w4 to the power k k takes the value of 3 so let me put it here then I have plus 1 by 3 w4 to the power 2k 2 into 3 I'm going to get w4 to the power 6 so now let me uh, put the values of these things these twiddle factors 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 what is w4 to the power 3 w4 to the power 3 is nothing but j so I'm going to get 1 by 3 j similarly 1 by 3 w4 to the power 6 w4 to the power 6 so if I make use of the periodicity property of the twiddle factor w4 to the power 6 is nothing but w4 to the power 2 w4 to the power 2 has the value of minus 1 so if I put minus 1 I'm going to get minus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 would cancel again and finally I'm going to get x of 3 the last the fourth DFT coefficient as 1 divided by 3 j so this is the fourth coefficient so in this way I have found the four DFT coefficients finally let me summarize all those things and finally write x of k is equal to so what are the four values I got it as 1 minus 1 by 3 j 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 j so I let me write the same answers over here let me write here 1 minus 1 divided by 3 j as the second coefficient then I got the answer as 1 divided by 3 and lastly I got the answer as 1 divided by 3 j so in this way I have found the four point DFT of the given sequence uh, of this 
so i hope you people have understood i have explained everything step by step and uh, you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section i'm and i'm definitely happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching